All right, I have a lower door trim here. I peeled it apart and I'm just gonna trace it. I got a, actually I'm gonna use a black one instead of this. I'm gonna trace it with a black permanent and then I'm gonna cut it. It's small enough I can do it that way. Uh, for the floor carpet, it was way too big to try to trace it properly and I would need a set of hands so at least this is small enough I can do it myself this way and it will make the process that much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut it then I'm going to apply glue to the, the plastic portion then I'm going to apply this to it and uh, it should come out really really good. Alright, uh, it came out pretty good. I'm happy with everything. I'm, I only traced the one side, but I had it flip. So um, instead of throwing it out, I just used it on the other side and it, uh, it worked perfectly fine. Everything matched up. Um, I didn't cut everything exactly to size. Uh, maybe just a hair bigger. Um, I didn't follow... I didn't follow all the little uh, curves and stuff that uh, went on the back side here. It was fine the way it was. I made everything uh, simple without having to cut the little ridges here and there. But um, yeah, everything turned out fine. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off. Cut out the uh, speaker cover portion and um, install it back into the door. But I'm I'm happy with the way it turned out. Okay, and, uh, I don't think it could have gone any better than it did, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, before I put the door panel in, I'm going to go ahead and take the, the old speakers out of the Prelude. It has Pioneer, six and a half, uh, I think. Well, I guess we'll, I'll, I'll uh, video it. I'm not sure exactly what type of Pioneer it is because I'm pretty sure when I bought the vehicle back in 2011 and had those Pioneers and I know I, I know for a fact I didn't buy any Pioneers because um, yeah that's something that I just wouldn't buy. Um, I would probably have bought in cheaper speakers to be honest at the time but those Pioneers are on a way out. They, they're sticking and um, I know the driver rear isn't even working so all right, I got the doors in. And it came out really good. I'm happy with that. I know in the one part of the video you couldn't really see the color of the door, but um, I got to do some interior cleaning now. But you can see It turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the next step is. Maybe I'll get a black steering wheel. Because the blue is kind of faded on the steering wheel. You can't really tell. You can barely tell that's a blue steering wheel. So I may... Maybe. I don't know yet. Or maybe I'll just change the airbag. Cause the airbag looks kind of crappy so maybe I'll just change the airbag out um, I do need a new shifter boot I'm gonna keep the stock sh the stock shifter I like the stock shifter so um, and I'm going to I had the sunroof for the longest time you've seen in the one junkyard video I pulled a sunroof I'm gonna go ahead and definitely before the fall comes I'll put a I'll put the moonroof in, and I do want to put the sunshade with it in. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I got a... Uh, I'm pretty happy about it, even though it's a cheap, a cheap thing to do. I got a, a, a cigarette charger for the USB, but... Let me turn the vehicle on so you can see what I'm talking about. Got 
battery voltage so it comes in handy because I don't drive all of my cars all the time and something like this will tell me what's going on uh, even with the starter or sorry with the alternator issue I had on the 5th gen if I had that in the 5th gen I would be able to know right away what's going on um, so yeah it's something nice to have even like even though it's not in the not, it's not up there with the cluster it's still beneficial down there where it's at I wouldn't mind putting it in the cluster but uh, there's space up there for the 4th gen to put it in there but uh, this is a, a quick solution, so I'm happy with that. Alright, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.